Hi guys, I'm back again. What's my excuse? I didn't have much time to film on this channel because I had school, I had my work, my different channel. I think I said it already in my two other I'm back videos. So, and also my family was visiting for the last three weeks and now they're gone and now I'm lonely. So I was like, let's start vlogging in English again. I don't know if you can hear, I can hear this very clearly. There's constructions and it's like this every day at 7 a.m. On my Polish channel I do weekly vlogs and I have my podcast and I love also filming daily vlogs so I think I want to do daily vlogs in English. I think every day looks kind of the same. I'm waking up at 7, 7.30, I'm reading my book, then I go and I make myself breakfast and tea or coffee, depends. Then I work out, I work out at home or I go to take a class. I shower, I do my skincare, I'm working, I'm going on a walk, I'm making lunch, then I'm working. Sometimes I'm going to a coffee shop to work, then I'm going on another walk. Then I'm working, then I'm making dinner, I'm working a little bit more, then I'm going on Pinterest and then I'm seeing somebody or I go and watch Succession in bed and that's like my everyday life. Everyday life! Bro. Now I'm going to Pilates. I'm ready, I need to eat something only and I have to leave. The workout class is at 9 a.m. It's been a while since I vlogged with this camera. I think I have to bring it back also into my Polish channel, like vlog with this camera and not my phone because I've been doing YouTube for four years now and I still vlog on my iPhone. But having a camera, it's sometimes like you need to carry it so hard. I know you have to carry it, have it in your bag. Then I don't want to leave it in my car because if somebody, you know, sees that I'm vlogging and the camera is in my car, they're gonna break into my car. I don't know if that would happen, but I don't, I don't know. Then filming in public with this camera in LA is not fun, not fun. Ooh, this is one of my favorite streets in LA. It's so beautiful. And when it's foggy, it's, oh, it's like, yeah, we're in LA. We are in LA. Mwah. I don't know if I vlog from my new home. I moved in January, so it's been also a while. Oh, it's really foggy today. The air's been not good. Like for the first time, or not not the first time, but I can feel in my throat that it's like really bad. There's some like wildfires lately and yeah, I could feel that. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, stop. I've been feeling lonely like this past few days because when my family was here I was spending all of my time like every day my sister was staying with me so I was like every day so close with somebody and like we did so many things and now poof like it's gone I'm alone you know not alone because if I want to like go and spend time with somebody I can but I don't think it's gonna help I have to recharge because I was so social but also I feel lonely because they're gone and like I'm alone here and like uh, yeah but my brother is here I'm not forgetting about him I'm gonna spend more time with him because I love him very much and I live so close to my brother right now you know we're driving to my favorite Pilates studio in LA, Mega Former. I tried so many classes in LA and this class with this girl, she's the best, she's the best. So I'm always looking on class pass when she's gonna be there. I'm obsessed with her. She has such a great, she just knows what to do, you know? And the workout is pretty challenging, but also like it feels good afterwards. And then I cannot walk for a few days, but it's okay. I started stretching more. I feel like I got into the routine. The music sometimes is a little bit crazy. They put like a, it's not even techno. It's like not great electronic music. I learned to like block it out. I'm good at dissociating and whatever. I learned from a really young age. So confusing sometimes you be a girl. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Wow, 
I'm exhausted. I'm not, I didn't sweat a lot. Like I look fine. I'm not red like a tomato. I just feel lots of things, but it's always like that. Then I go home, I take a shower, I have my breakfast and then I'm like, okay, that was really good. I'm gonna go back. I showered, I didn't wash my hair because I washed it yesterday. Here I have my two drinks. I drink from jars because every cup is too small for me. Like I need a lot of liquid. I don't want to go multiple times and do multiple teas. I want to have just like one big jar of tea. Here is a green tea. Green tea? And here is water with apple cider vinegar. I just got used to drinking it. I got some avocados and I'm hoping that there's gonna be one that is ready to go. How cute. I've been eating oatmeal for a really long time and now I switched back to salty breakfast. I sometimes eat oatmeal when I'm craving, like it's not off the table. Right now I'm really into omelets and also burritos. I started doing my own breakfast burritos. Eggs, beans, spinach, cheese, avocado. Sometimes when I have like some kind of, you know, like meat, thingy. I'm gonna use it. Here's the omelette. I'm gonna put avocado on top. I think I cut myself and I don't even know when that happened. I'm putting a little bit of lemon juice on top of the avocado because it always needs acidity. Salt, pepper, and chili flakes. I'm really bleeding. <laughs> Ta-da! Can you tell that I'm exhausted? But this looks beautiful, like wow. I'm also gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on top. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. This is what I could eat like every day. Wow, 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 wow. And in the morning, I'm also journaling and that's my journal. Okay, I'm gonna do a to-do list. I'm gonna journal a little bit, plan what I wanna do. I would have school today, but it's my summer break. I was trying to put a really cute outfit and then I tried multiple things and I was like, no, no, I need to be comfortable. So I'm going with this. I feel like I'm gonna sweat a lot. So maybe I'm gonna take another shirt with me because I have problem with sweating. I'm using this deodorant. It's men's stuff. It's one of the like strongest deodorant, I would say. The ingredients are terrible, so I probably shouldn't be using it. So if anyone has any recommendations for a good deodorant, it's so bad. It's like literally, it's worse than ever. Like I've been on my phone for the last hour responding to messages because I'm working on an app. We are all together and now it's been a lot. We're organizing a first event in Warsaw, like a community event, a yoga in a yoga studio. It's been a lot to like communicate everything and we need to start putting like the tickets, like everyone who wants to go to the event. We're like figuring out everything, how to do it like the best way. I need to do my skincare because I didn't do it yet. And today's the day that I need to leave. I need to go somewhere and do my work. I need coffee and I need to do the work. So I'm gonna leave because here, here I cannot focus. Okay, skincare. I've been really loving. This is a toner, Anua Soothing Toner. And it's been really good. I don't know, my skin really likes it. And I saw it on TikTok, of course. A lot of people were recommending all of the girlies, so I got it. The game plan for now is do my makeup, so I'm gonna feel cute and cute. Then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, do some work. I need to get gas. Then I need to go wash my car. I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, buy cottage cheese because I have an obsession. It's not like... I'm gonna cry. I've been obsessing about cottage cheese for such a long time and I've been not eating the best cottage cheese that there's like out there. In Poland, this is the one thing that I miss the most. It's called twaruk, like quark. It's not cottage cheese, it's like quark. And I've been eating it like with a spoon when I was little with egg yolk, sugar, and a little bit of milk. And here I cannot find it. Maybe if I would go to like a different 
international or like a more local store because Whole Foods sprouts like they don't have it and I've been eating cottage cheese because this is like the most similar thing that exists like to the quark I'm using hyaluronic acid and then I got another cottage cheese from a different brand I think it's called good culture and I tried this one compared to the one that I was getting at Trader Joe's and this is like the taste that I was eating in Poland and it's the same type it's cottage cheese but from this brand it tastes like so differently like the one that I loved so I need to go to Whole Foods and buy from this brand because I don't know what is happening I've ate like four tubs 900 grams or something like three of those one tub for like one week I'm obsessed I don't know why and it's high protein and it's just like the texture at first it was a little bit weird but then I got used to it and it is just so good but if you're in Poland don't buy cottage cheese buy quark tvaruk I'm using Cetaphil moisturizing cream like a very thick one because the one thing that I know about my skin it needs a lot of moisturizing and hydration and even if I'm like something I'm breaking out I still need a lot of hydration because here the air the climate is so drying it's like my elbows are white like 90% of the time should I do gua sha I don't want I don't have time for gua sha today but Let's do a little bit. I might change this shirt because I feel like I'm already sweating and it's gonna be embarrassing sitting with like sweat stains, you know? Because I'm a girl, I cannot sweat, like why? I got this new sunscreen and it's really good. It's SPF 60 La Roche-Posay, this one. The ingredients are great and also it's like dry touch and it doesn't leave any like white stains. I'm gonna use Deep Bronzy Glow Drops from Drunk Elephant. I love them so much. When my face is tanned, I'm happy. I needed a new concealer. So I got this one from Maybelline, but I have like no opinion. I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm just using it and it's not breaking me out. And the color is good. I think I lost my favorite lip liner. This one. It's NYX in color brown. Sometimes I tend to overdo my lips. No idea, I got a little bit lost. Then I do like this and I put it on my eyelids. And I'm done, I think. Okay, after 10,000 hours, I'm ready. Yeah. I have to leave, it's 1 p.m. and I have so much work to do, like, let's go. <laughs> it's really hot, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, the one that I always go to, which I'm not excited about because there's a lot of staring and I'm not okay with that, but it's okay. This is why people go to coffee shops, they want to be seen, you know, so I get it. But to be honest, for me, like, I mean, I care about people, like, I also want to, like, see and go and be around people, but I'm going to a coffee shop to, like, stay focused, go to a place, do their work, leave, and be done when I'm at home. I know I can also do that, but it's harder to be disciplined with like sitting and working for such a long period of time, like few hours. And in a coffee shop, I can do that. So I'm gonna go there. I need to edit a vlog. I need to write one like note description for a post for We Are All Together. Me and three other people we're working, it's our startup, which it's really cool. I was always like thinking, yeah, in your 20s, you need to like work on something like for the future or like, I don't know. This is, yeah, this is like the thing. You see, it's not working, nothing changed. I took literally like two sips of my coffee. My new coffee order is an iced Americano with a splash of almond milk. I finished my vlog. I only had to like rough cut it, so it's not like done done, but I'm uploading on the first day. So tomorrow, like I'm always doing like Tuesday rough cutting all of my footage and Wednesday I'm adding music 
like subtitles whatever like everything so I feel good I responded to some messages I need to get gas I need to wash my car so this is gonna take me a while lately I've been liking LA a lot I don't know what was my opinion in the last vlog here on this channel but I like LA it's it's a really nice city I get gas first step and somebody's looking at me but I'm not gonna I'm choosing not to be embarrassed because we're in LA so it's normal so the car wash is closed I don't know what happened but I have an idea I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna go on a real hot girl summer walk hot girl summer walk where I'm gonna tan and I think it's gonna be amazing and I'm excited and I'm gonna go wash my car maybe tomorrow I guess I was so excited for my sexy car to be washed I like the vibe of LA today it's like very sunny a lot of people everyone is listening to music everyone is walking or like exercising running And I decided that I'm gonna go grab smoothie at Creation. I found a recipe. <laughs> I'm living in Pinterest world. I found like, oh my God, it's like so yummy, yummy. When I read it, I'm like, oh my God. Banana, vanilla protein, coconut meat plus water, coffee beans, cacao nibs. This is what I want. So I'm gonna go, it's like a 30 minute walk and the sun. It kind of matched those shorts with the top. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna get tanned here. Let's go. I think I tanned. So I went on a walk around Hollywood Hills. It took me like 40 minutes or even more to get there. And I was listening to a Kurt Tolle. Then I went to Creation. I got a smoothie. It was frozen banana, cacao nibs, coconut milk, maca powder, vanilla protein powder, almond butter. Then I sat there. I read my book. My brother called me. We talked. I'm reading Cleopatra and Frankenstein, the book, which is amazing highly recommend i'm almost done it's so funny like the last pages are just hilarious then yeah i got back it took me like 25 minutes to get back now i want to write my podcast episode because i feel inspired i'm gonna record this week an episode about why am i obsessed with succession it's my favorite show everyone knows i watched this show maybe 20 times the last season the fourth season i think like maybe six times. It's an obsession and people are always asking me like, why do you love this show, you know, so much? So I wanna record an episode about it. I'm gonna do some work and rest. I feel very accomplished and at peace. So yeah, 